To start with, the conflict unfolding in Ukraine is significantly influenced by the relentless utilization of artillery, a strategy that harks back to the tactics seen during the First World War. In Russian military lore, artillery holds an almost mythical status, earning it the epithet, the God of War. This reverence can be traced back to the time of Peter the Great, who famously repurposed church bells into cannons for his confrontations with Sweden, highlighting the enduring significance of artillery in Russian military tradition. Artillery possesses distinct advantages over air power, operating consistently regardless of weather conditions or the susceptibility of air bases to attack. Since the invasion commenced in February 2022, Russian forces have relentlessly bombarded Ukrainian defenses with a continuous barrage of artillery shells, aiming to overwhelm them and create openings for their own forces. However, the impact of these bombardments extends beyond mere numbers, as it's crucial to grasp the difference between a weapon system's effective range and its maximum potential, particularly in a prolonged artillery confrontation such as the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Now, let's delve into the potency of these Russian gods of war and what attributes contribute to their effectiveness in combat scenarios. Today, we'll explore the diverse array of artillery systems at play and the myriad factors influencing their range and efficacy on the battlefield. Russian artillery boasts a diverse range of firepower, from howitzers to rocket launchers, enabling strategic adaptation based on battlefield exigencies in Ukraine. While a significant number of artillery systems are positioned near the border, our focus will be on those currently deployed. Firstly, let's analyze the range of pivotal weapons in closer detail. Russia's mobile artillery is spearheaded by the self-propelled howitzer, designated the SP. These armored vehicles, often built on tank chassis, offer a combination of mobility and cannon firepower. The cornerstone of this arsenal is the 2S19 Mista S, boasting a range of approximately 40 kilometers, enabling it to deliver devastating blows and disrupt enemy formations. In the initial stages of the conflict, Mistas units were observed engaging Ukrainian positions near the Donba region. Recent advancements, such as the 2S35 Koalitsia SV, have extended the boundaries further, with a potential range surpassing 80 kilometers. This advanced system boasts enhanced accuracy, enabling precise targeting of adversaries from increased distances. Koalitsia SV units have reportedly been operational in eastern Ukraine, targeting Ukrainian strongholds in the Donbass region. While the exact deployment figures remain undisclosed, these self-propelled howitzers have played a pivotal role in shaping the conflict, posing a formidable challenge for counter-battery fire owing to their swift firing and relocation capabilities. The next focal point of discussion is the towed howitzer, Unlike self-propelled guns, towed howitzers necessitate a separate vehicle for transportation, limiting their mobility but augmenting their firepower. While certain models can achieve distances exceeding 30 kilometers, their effective range for precise accuracy typically falls between 15 to 20 kilometers. Russia has extensively employed towed howitzers in Ukraine, particularly in the eastern Donbas region, where long-range artillery duels have significantly impacted the conflict. The older D-30, boasting a range of 15 kilometers, is often deployed closer to the front lines, while the more modern 2A-65 Mista B, with a range of 26 kilometers, empowers Russian forces to engage targets from greater distances. In Ukraine, multiple launch rocket systems are deployed. Russia heavily relies on these systems for wide area attacks due to their capacity to saturate expansive areas with explosives rapidly. The BM-21 Grad, a cornerstone of the Russian MLRS arsenal, 
boasts a range of 20 to 40 kilometers, contingent on rocket time. However, its accuracy diminishes compared to more contemporary systems when targeting distant objectives. Russia also utilizes the Smirch MLRS, capable of launching heavier payloads up to 90 kilometers away, allowing Russian forces to engage Ukrainian positions from safer distances, thereby heightening the threat they pose. The BM-27 Yurigan, positioned between the Grad and the Smirch, is another Soviet-era MLR system employed by Russia. The Yurigan fires 220 mm rockets and possesses a range of 35 to 40 kilometers, striking a balance between the shorter range Grad and the longer range Smirch. While firing ranges showcase the full potential of artillery systems, Real-world conditions serve as significant constraints on their effective range. The type of ammunition employed is a pivotal factor in this regard. Just as a high-performance sports car with a lightweight build can outstrip a heavily laden truck, rockets propelled by potent charges and carrying lighter warheads inherently boast longer ranges compared to their heavier counterparts. Terrain characteristics introduce another layer of complexity. Firing uphill imparts a steeper trajectory to the shell, potentially extending its range, while firing downhill reduces the distance. Furthermore, the angle of the gun barrel influences trajectory, with a higher elevation during firing, allowing the shell to travel a greater distance before impact. These variables, coupled with the inherent limitations of the artillery system, offer a nuanced understanding of its actual capabilities in combat, transcending the controlled environment of a firing range. Despite the impressive numerical figures, the actual impact of the god of war hinges on real-world scenarios and meticulous calculations. Do you have additional factors to consider? Join the conversation in the comments section and thank you for your engagement.